Hi there, my name is Daniel and I'm going to give you a brief demonstration of how you can significantly improve your application performance and the quality of your code by using Zen Studio and Z-Ray together. Z-Ray gives you deep insight into how your code is running as you are developing it and without having to change your workflows one bit. With Z-Ray you can immediately understand the impact of your code changes enabling you to both improve quality and solve issues long before your code reaches production. In this example I've installed Zen Server 7 and Zen Studio 11 on my local machine and I'm working on an application based on the GeoNames database that gives me information on all the countries in the world. Opening the application in my browser Z-Ray is immediately displayed at the bottom of my page indicating that something has gone seriously wrong. Of course I don't need Z-Ray to tell me something is wrong the countries list is empty. But opening the monitor events panel reveals exactly what went wrong. The MySQL connection failed and taking a look at the database queries panel tells me exactly why. Access was denied because of a bad password. Clicking the debug icon in Z-Ray and selecting debug current page triggers a debugging session in Zen Studio which by default stops at the very first line behavior that you can of course configure. Clicking step into displays the parameters file which after taking a short look I can indeed see includes a wrong password for accessing my database. After fixing this I'm going to refresh my application. Wow that took ages. Back in the monitor events panel Z-Ray is telling us that one of our database queries triggered a slow query execution event. Taking a closer look at our query in the database queries panel, we can see detailed info on the query's requested fields. So let's check our indexing. And indeed, a brief examination of our database tables reveals that our fields are not indexed. I'm going to run a short script to fix the issue. And then reload the page. Much better. But Z-Ray is still showing us that our code has triggered some PHP errors. Opening the errors and warnings panel Z-Ray informs us that the MySQL connect expression is deprecated and also that our code is creating default objects from empty values. Z-Ray also gives us the exact place in the code we need to take a look at. So in Zen Studio I'm going to follow these directions and enter some breakpoints in the code. Debugging from Z-Ray again, Zen Studio throws us some warnings in the console. Let's fix these errors. First, we're going to replace MySQL Connect with MySQL I. Next, we're going to solve the second issue by instantiating our objects first. Refreshing our browser, our app looks just fine. This was just a small example of how you can seamlessly use Z-Ray with Zen Studio to easily and quickly find errors in your code. The visibility Z-Ray gives you, together with Zen Studio's debugging features, will help you develop better PHP code and increase the performance of your apps.